Hi everybody, my name is Joanna with Spotter Dash Studios and you're watching the September Fun Box Small Canvas Autumn Scene Tutorial. I am so excited to do this cool shadow box with you guys today. This is so much fun and we've done this for different holidays in the past. The first thing that you're going to need is a small canvas found in your fun box. You're also going to need your cup of water with your brushes, a paper towel, your bag filled with your leaves and your gold glitter, and your paint plate with blue, white, and brown paint. You're also going to pull out that clear plastic paper found in your fun box, and then of course you'll need your hair dryer to dry in between steps. All right everybody, let's get started. Let's go ahead and put our paint on our paper plate. I'm going to put a little bit of blue, a little bit of white, and a little bit of brown on there so that we can start our first step. Go ahead and flip your small canvas over because that's how we're going to start the shadow box. You're going to mix your white and blue paint together and start painting in the middle. I like to add a little bit of water to my brush to help my paint spread a little bit easier. Now because the back of the canvas is not primed, it's probably going to take a little bit more paint than usual to completely cover the back. Don't forget to paint the sides. The next step is to paint the top ledge of our canvas using brown paint. Sometimes I use regular pure brown and sometimes I add a little bit of black to my brown to give it a darker, richer look. For this exercise, I'm just going to use regular brown paint, dip my brush a little bit in water, and paint that ledge of the small canvas. Now it's time to paint the tree. I'm going to use a smaller brush on this step. I'm going to dip it in that same brown color and I'm going to start at the bottom of the canvas and slowly draw a curve that goes towards the edge and then when I get to the top it's going to extend almost like a rainbow pointing to that top right corner. Now I'm going to start to fill it in. I want to fill in my trunk first, but at the top where those branches are, I'm only going to make those branches a little bit thicker, so I'm not going to fill it in completely at the top. I'm going to add a few more thick branches, and then I'm going to start to add my little tiny ones. I dip my brush in water to do this to make it run a little bit smoother. I also like to flick it when I get to the end of each branch, just to make it a little more pointy. The great thing about painting nature is that you really can't go wrong, so have fun with this process and add as many branches as you want. Now it's time to blow dry our canvas. Now when you blow dry, make sure everything is dried completely, so you want to spend a little more time than usual on this step. Now we want to fill in our shadow box with our glitter and leaves. This is the fun part. You're going to pull out all the leaves from that little baggie in your fun box and put them inside your shadow box. I like to put some leaves at the very bottom, just free floating, and I like to glue some other leaves into my tree so that when I tip it up and hang it on the wall, the leaves will be stuck to the branches. I'm also going to open up my glitter and just sprinkle a little bit of glitter onto my shadow box as well. Now remember, when you do the glitter, the glitter will not stick to the blue background. So if you want it to stick in the sky, you're gonna to have to add a little bit of glue to the sky first and sprinkle the glitter on top of the glue. All right guys, we're almost done. Y'all are doing such a great job. Now we want to go ahead and glue that plastic piece to the top to seal our shadow box. Take your glue, place a little bit on that rim, and you're going to use a wet brush, a clean wet brush, to spread the glue around. 
The more glue you use, the better, and so your glitter and your leaves won't fall out of the box. Once you have a lot of glue evenly spread, you're going to pick up your plastic sheet that is included and place it on top and use your fingers to gently press down so that it sticks evenly all around the edges of the box. I would recommend letting it dry overnight to make sure that it's completely sealed before you hang it on the wall. Now you also have the option of painting a black border on your plastic paper just to give it that nice clean finished look. Good job everyone!